So, 82 Studio added winches on the front and back of his truck. So we've got a new way to climb trees now. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Today is Mod Day. Finally, we've got some new updated mods to take a look at on Mod Hub. 39 in total today, so it's going to be a long video for all platforms. We've got 13 new and 13 updates. PC Mac players have four new and nine updates. We're going to load up each mod in the store, look at its customizations and features, and of course, we will review every mod that got an update against my own best judgment. There's a lot to do today. Timestamps are linked below. Um, this truck ain't gonna stop. So let's just jump right in. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the Valmet Series 880-980 from Sir Vertex. We've been talking about this for what seems like forever in Farm Some News, and it's finally here. It looks absolutely incredible. Definitely the best mod that Server Vertex has ever done. Let's take a look at specs. So, um, what do we get? Well, we've got three different tractors in here total. As you can see, each one's a little bit different. Then we've got some attachments here as well. We have the blade support for the Valman, or, well, you know, the front loader. And then we've got the planter, and then the planting marker, which is kind of cool. Now, the planter will actually um, tear out trees. It'll open fields and tear down trees. Yes, it will. It'll basically cut the tree at the very bottom. Anyway, so you got a two-wheel drive, and we've got a four-wheel drive, and then we've got kind of an interesting four-wheel drive, kind of sport mode, if you will. So we'll just take a look at the four-wheel drive basic model. Right through here, 81 horsepower manual transmission, 140 liters of fuel, 31 miles per hour, and it weighs 6.5 tons. As far as your fenders go, we've got no, and we got front fenders. Also, uh, rear fenders, both of them, or none of them. Uh, also, even on my computer, it's taking a minute for these uh, options to go, so just be ready for that. Engine setup, we've got 81 horsepower, 88 horsepower, 150 horsepower, 86, 95, 150, and then back down to 81 again. Wheel brands from Lizard, Trellabog, Michelin Tires, Continental, Midas, Vratestein, Nuckian, and back in again. And if you go into the lizard tires, you guys are gonna find some pretty wacky combos in here that you may uh, may want to go with, or maybe you don't. Who knows? Frame setup: we have standard. We have an arch bumper on the very front. We've also got the old bumper, sugar cane grid one, sugar cane grid two, grid three. Rice setup, rice number two, and then reinforced radiator. We also have the operator forced protection. If you guys want to use this for there, double it up. You've got structure supports. You've got the forestry structure with a crane support. Yeah. And then back to standard lighting. So we have a couple different versions for lights right through here. Uh, front weights, you can throw on different kilogram style weights. A lot of different setups there. Big baffle exhaust. We've got a small diameter, big muffler with the big old tip on it. Exhaust with small earmuffs with earpiece. <laughs> All right, I guess that's going to put those in the interior somewhere. Maybe. I don't see them, but hey, maybe they're around there somewhere. Uh, cabins and accessories. So you got carpeted. You've got semi-enclosed glass, semi-enclosed glass with rug, cabin, cabin with rug, cabin with an awning carpet, all of the above. You've even got a fruit setup protection or nothing at all, which I'm kind of digging the fruit setup, so we're going to leave it there. Mirrors and antennas, we've got standard, you got mirrors, um, and it turns out none of those are a real thing unless you've got the cabin on there, so maybe we'll just go back to that. Yeah, you can change up your mirrors. Man, there's too many customization options. We're not even halfway done yet. I'm not doing all three of these tractors. You guys can look at it yourselves. We've got different tool setups through here. Engine protections. Uh, different setups here on the side. Wheel weights. You can throw on extra weights on your different wheel setups. Uh, attachments. We've got a couple different, different style attachments on the back. Cabin glass, of course. I have to have that. Different flags. Brazilian. Um... United States of America, um, EUA, I don't know what that is, uh, Argentina, Africa, France, there's there's a lot. Front loader, you've got different setups for front loader attachments there. Water reservoirs, for whatever those would be for. Main color, goodness gracious, I picked the wrong mod to start with, didn't I? Um, go there, we've also got different colors for wheel weights, I don't know why I chose orange, that's what color the thing is itself. Here's all your different setups for your chassis, front loader setup as well, we'll just go with yellow, rim colors, goodness gracious, let's go green with those as well. 
and your license plate. And as I mentioned, there's a whole lot more here. I could probably spend like 10 minutes, but I've already spent four. <laughs> So let's move on. Oh boy. Uh, next up, we have the lizard pulling sled. JK, it's a tractor pulling pack is what it is with included grandstands, baby. Yeah, you can park these up wherever you would like. And because they are uh, lined up like this, you can hook up multiple of these together. So um, this machine has been made to test vehicles of course you can see right there we got the chain on there uh weights we've got all kinds of weights even thirteen thousand two hundred. uh you can make this thing weigh almost 40 tons by itself uh branding uh zader volvo on there a couple different volvo options actually versatile for uh, all of them that's what i'm seeing there guard you've got a guard on the very back there you go folding mechanism medium speed slow speed uh, or standard which i'm guessing is fast then you've got all kinds of different colors for your hubs the main color itself fenders cabin options right through here boom uh lead sled we'll change that up to white rims of course are rim colors at the end of the day so you're gonna need that then you're gonna need Maybe one of these, the uh, Hara Stego uh, 485 Pro Wheeled. You can throw some additional weight on that if you would like. And then we have a main color for this. We also have this bad boy right here, which is a box grater. And now this will also be a, uh, a, a cultivator, if that's correct. Yeah, cultivator. Uh, but also will hold liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Don't know why, but that's super cool. Uh, I believe the idea here is to pretend like you're going through and doing things like uh you know this right here it's a silage compactor so you would want to compact the ground back down this would be something where you would want to wet the ground but of course water can't discharge out of a pipe in the game so i guess that they've done it like that so oh what do you guys think we should definitely use this but we've got 39 mods we gotta move on next is the rn pack from kaluruga modding so this is the um the agro uh, rhino agro pack for you guys but it's for all platforms uh quite literally all they've done is just remove the rhino agro logos and thrown on some green lizard logos Hope you like those. Uh, we'll set up, get a couple different options for those, and we got some beacons on the back, but that's it. Uh, as you can see, customization options are uh, slim to actually none on some of these. We do have auto load, which can be turned on and off on the belt trailers. However, everything else is kind of as it is. You've got a 10,000 liter trailer. You've also got one that's just for grapes. Um, you've also got a 15,000 liter, 15,000 just for grapes, 24,500, 30,000, and then two bell trailers, 24 bells and 27 bells, respectively. Everything can be a uh, beacon, but really past that, there's not a whole lot to these. It's just a bunch of trailers. Now, this next mod, I could have sworn had been out for all platforms for a while. This is a, a pack that got updated today for um, PC and Mac players. We'll talk about that later in the video. However, console players, they have it now. The 30-foot flatbed auto-loading trailer pack. As you can see, we've got auto-load for 1.2 square bales with baby bales. Then we've got the other three sizes there. Then we've got um, 125, 150, and 80 round bales. Then we've got cotton square and cotton round. But you can see at the bottom, it holds stuff as well as it does uh, spreading, a uh, spread width, <laughs> and it will hold animals. So we'll just we'll just check out this one because this is probably going to be the most popular one, the square bell auto loading, which does regular. So we've got body configs of the flatbed. We've got auto loading bales. We've got a tipper body, which is standard, 37,450. Then we've got a tipper extended uh, up to 43,400. Then we have log forks. Then we also have a liquid tank, 43,200 liters. Then we could do a spreader for slurry or a spreading system, 41,000 liters of uh, <laughs> liquid or a solid fertilizer and lime. Then we have a livestock trailer, which holds all kinds of stuff here. And then we also have uh, the liquid tanker for unrealistic, 150,000 liters. And the unrealistic slurry spreader and a tipper body that is unrealistic for 150,000 liters or 200,000 liters. Or a uh, spreader for liquid or uh, the solid fertilizer and lime, 150,000 liters. Huh, and back down. Goodness, 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 goodness. Uh, Will Brands, we have Trelleborg. 
lizard tires. We also have knock-in tires, and then back in again. Ramps, yep, or no, so you may not want to go with ramps on there. Uh, the deck, D-E-C-K type, we've got wooden or steel. We also have different hitch configurations, if you guys want to throw a different hitch on the back. We have a frame color, so there you go, there's your main frame color, and we have rim colors as well. And every single one of these has the same configuration. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, it's so many. Um, as far as animals go, 12 cows, 48 pigs, 12 horses, 48 sheep as well. I do know the PC versions hold chickens, but I don't think these do. Next is uh, maybe our first normal mod of the day, the Crampy Big Body 790. It's just a big trailer, man. 41,000 liter capacity. You can also bump that down to 29,900. Looks pretty good either way. I'm cool with it. Will Brands, Trent Laborg, and BKT as well as Michelin and Vradastan Tires. We could change them up a little bit. Warning Stripes, you can throw one down the side. Rhino, of course you want to put that on there naturally. Chassis color, we do have a couple different colors through here. And then we have a couple different colors for your main colors as well. And even the rim color, we got that crampy red. Very cool. Next, we've got a mod that I'm sure you're going to love because I've had to re-record this part three times because I have no idea what this is. Uh, this is the Puma 032 or 32 online and then the uh, Pantera U033 or U33 as it is online. It's a Polish brand. Uh, they do say that they're cultivators. However, in the game, you can see, no, they're not. It's, it's a plow, but they're subsoilers and they're also power harrows. Okay, uh, let's just move on. 50 horsepower, 0.8 meters. I'm sure that's going to get a lot of use. Six miles an hour. Uh, we got a design with or without the cover. Main color on here and design color, which I'm guessing is the cover. Yes, and the same, uh, same thing for here as well. Nope, that's the same one. <laughs> 55 horsepower, 1.2 meter working with on here. So instead of two times, you got three. Next, we have the big bag lifter for Will Loaders. You've seen one. You've seen two, but have you seen three or four? No, I'm just kidding. It's just one. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen a triple hook for big bags or not. Uh, I don't use big bags. So there's that. Uh, works with wheel loaders only. Heads up there. Doesn't cost too much. There's not a lot of customization, but you could do single, double, or triple. Quadruple would be pretty cool, though. And making our way over to some placeables. We have six total. Well, six packs, anyway. First one is the French City Gas Station, and uh, this thing is massive. One thing it says it's in containers. It ain't. It's in tools. Stuff like this doesn't go in containers. You got a workshop right here. You've got fuel right there. And, uh, well, I think this would fit really, really well on Hot Balleron or something like that. It's really nice. Very well done. Next, we got the Soybean Factory. With this one, you can produce soybean patties and sell them uh, to restaurants. You have to produce flour and sunflower oil for them. So let's, uh, let's jump in and take a look at this. So here we go. Soybean patties are the only thing that you can make here. So not so not sure soybean factory is maybe the correct terminology of a soybean patty factory. Maybe. I'm kind of opinionated today. I need to stop it. Uh, anyway, so you got soybeans, barley, flour, and sunflower oil in, and you get soybean patties out. You have 240 cycles per month, and it'll make 13 liters every cycle. And of course, because this is a uh, proprietary production, you've also got two, not one, but two selling points that are added with this pack as well. Next is the old PGR barn. It is uh, absolutely mahoosive. It is 80 meters from one side to the other. That's insane, man. That's almost as big as a, a uh, football field. Goodness, and they almost be the same length, actually. Uh, we've got more area over here, though, if you thought that was it. Nope, JK, there's more. Can we pick that up? Nope. Well, it's probably a good thing. Uh, one thing about this building in particular is you see some stuff like this that maybe doesn't always look the best. This, this looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. I don't want to know how much time that he spent on just a simple, well, I say simple, a, a very, very advanced placeable. 
but the time was worth it. I'll give you that much. Gonna have to get a run and jump for this next one. This is the Wooden Hive for Bees. $6,600 for this. It's a uh, aged wooden style production beehive for your bees. Uh, production of 25 liters of honey per day. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is gonna be the old PGR Fence Pack. Yo, all right, so from the same modder, Dynac96, really, really nice. Really nice stuff. I wonder if these are for PGR Swill or not. Who knows? All I know is, uh, well, you've got some gates right here as well. So you got one that's open, one that you have to open, one that you have to open that isn't. Um, another one that you have to open that is? But I'm guessing it says something different. I'm sure there's a difference, but I don't know what it is. And then we've also got all these bits and bobs right here in the front. Easy to find decorations, fences. You are good to go right through here as you can see. Boom, 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 boom. And then all of your fences. And your last new mod today. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. The farm sign, baby, from FSG Money. It's Taz Man and Strange Talent working on everything right here. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Farm sign, looks good, looks great. Cut out on top of uh, the wood, very shiny. Look great. Lights come on automatically, I'm guessing, because I can't turn them on. I, I can't think of anything else to say about this. Uh, FSG, help me on here. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. Very first one is Adelshoven 2.2. Terrain height adjustments, adjusted floating elements, and wrong ground texture adjusted at BGA. Next, we've got an update to the TLX 2022 series version 1.1. They've added a winch option, so no front and rear, and this does require the Platinum DLC. Vinyls design number six for wood camo, exhaust selection, light bar on and off road bumper, Passenger support. They've also changed the rear hitch height and fixed stability improvements. Turning issues have been fixed, braking issues fixed, and the pickup bed gooseneck electric cable. So let's take a look at this real quick so you guys know how to attach a winch on the 2022 series. So what you want to do is put a front bumper of some sort onto the very front and then get your winch. So we've got front bumper. Well, front requires front bumper back which requires a rear bumper but the one that i've got selected already works well with it we're both you could get you've got uh, winches on both the front and the back on a pickup truck david you you know you're crazy right like like we know we we know we we get it <laughs> let's move on next up we've got an update to the lh 822d 1.001 minor fixes this is the exact machine that i'm using in my silver run series if you haven't seen that check it out next is your update to the lizard t25 version number two new front tires have been added and front loader with attachments have been added next is an update to the 20 foot gooseneck trailers pack made 82 studio version 1.02 Ooh, Platinum DLC productions are supported now for auto load and the winch has been added to the flatbed trailer, which again requires the Platinum DLC. Just like the TLX 2022 series, we also have a winch option here as well. So let's go down to winch and select yes. There you can see we got a little winch right, right down there at the bottom of the gooseneck. So everything else is exactly the same on this trailer like you would expect, but now got a little winch down there. So if we were to, you know, change this up to some type of, well, just production auto load, you know, maybe you don't want to do that, but, um, you know, change it up, change your style. For some reason, I was thinking there was, uh, sides for this. Maybe I chose the wrong one. Regardless, uh, definitely check this out. We've got a really, really cool config on here. Next, we've got another update from in the TLX X52 enclosed trailer with a very similar update. This is version 1.0.2. He's added hydraulic suspension to adjust the height for loading from warehouse stock. So joystick and mouse controlled. Um, he also added uh, th this. Uh, David, this is not English. <laughs> I don't understand that. They've also added productions for or auto loop for all these things. So, uh, grain mill plus plant leaf production, packing facility production for empty pallets and barrels, production for paper and cardboard, production for donuts or dead donuts. Um, is that you get it? You just go straight down through. You can see those right there. Uh, David, we got to work with you, man. 
Why is this in Spanish? Moving on, we've got an update to the Lizard PB5032 version 1001. I added new colors and adjusted the shop prices. Next, the update to the Geller Mayor version 1.0.3. Remove the knife roller and mulch your function. Next, the update to the Kodak Ramp PT 20,000 version 101. Weight and weight distribution has been adjusted. Decal color has been added and price adjustment. And an update to Farmhouse. This is going to be version 1.2. A two house has been added. Mmm. We also have an update to the Redneck Restaurant. Big turnaround for this one. Version 1.1 corrected the size of the chairs. They were massive and they added lighting. Next to last update for all platforms, Lizard VNB14 trailer. Version 1101 fixed tension belts and added new paint and factory wheels and adjusted the shop prices. And your last update today for all platforms is the Garage and Storage Shelter. Version 1.001. Gutters have been approved and minor fixes. All right, making our way over to new ones for PC and Mac players. First is going to be a Power Hero. This is the 1.2 ton Toscano 3900. Uh, if you guessed it has a 3.9 meter work with, you would be almost correct. Uh, it's a four meter, at least in game it is. Nine meow, not nine meow per hour max speed. Man, we've done too many mods today. I'm going crazy. 95 horsepower required for this. It weighs a little bit, but I think a singular weight on the front would be okay. Next up is a weight. The Farm Weissgrund weight 1000 kg. And I'm so sorry for butchering that pronunciation. Three point weight for the front and back of your tractor. Uh, you got a ring, which I'm not sure what the ring does, but it's, it's there. Oh, it says it has a ring, so there's collisions. All right. And then main color. Change that up to what you would like. Next to last one for PC Mac players is the Mineral Roll Big Bags. Uh, we've got stones and iron ore. Yes, sir. And your last new one for PC Mac players today is the American Barn with Bell Storage. This is auto storing, uh, stacking bales. You've got a round bell and a square bell, and they're both available in red or gray. So that is kind of nice. Capacity is 1 million liters and AccuMobile um did the script for this which is kind of cool so you select the ones that you want and they'll go boop 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 and do some magic tricks and reappear so this is where you'll drive through and you'll drop off your bells there and then whenever you're ready to get them you go up to the top and you go boop boop tell them what you want and pick them up right there and then when they're stored they're stored inside here which is so cool wait is there a way upstairs oh <gasps> i'm gonna go up there come on come on come on, come on. I opened the door. That was awesome. So you've got more storage up here if you would like. And it looks like we're able to open up the front too. Yep. Wee. You can load them into the top if you really want to, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably just stick to the bottom. And our last segment today are going to be updates for PC and Mac players. However, the first one should have an update releasing soon for all platforms. This is Eastern North Carolina, USA for Mac Trucker 921 version 1.1. Uh, just a heads up. Yeah. It's PC and Mac only today. However, Mac Trucker has said that he looked and apparently um, this is the PC version. I don't know. They say it's showing is now in console testing though. So hopefully it will soon be out. Maybe even tomorrow as long as they don't find anything else. I didn't even know there was a PC only version of this map. So that's news to me. Anyway, version 1.1. They say, note, it will require a new game save. They fixed issues with crashing and not saving on PlayStations. Well... Simple, just remove it from consoles altogether. Fixed an issue with collectibles that are unreachable. Fixed issue with the trailer park, where we're not able to sell it. Fixed cover not working on starting trailer. Fixed an issue with slow and jerky cow motions while well, they're inside the cow barn. Also got some additions, so they've added the additional configuration for the starting trailer, added additional straw trigger and opening Kate at the cow barn, and added the ability to paint cultivated, plowed, and grass field textures in the landscaping tool inside the painting tab. How cool is that? Next up, the PB5032 version 1.1.0.1 added new colors and adjusted shop prices. Next is an update to the BSS P93S PACKL pack. Uh, version 1.001 fixed a bug where the player collision mask for the log trailer. All right, and fixed dumping problem with the right side of the chaff cage. Next is an update to the Tiger Cat LHA22D version 1001, minor fixes. Next is an update to the fertilizer and seed big bags version 1002, added one lime bag. Next up, park vehicle version 111, um, remove print message on, uh, on delete function. 
There you go. I didn't do a good job of reading that, but we're going to move on. Next, an update to Invoices version 1.2. Fix the UI bug at prices. Your next to last mod today, the Linear Unitrack Platform Auto Load version 1.0.3. The Use Palette Weight Reduction Configuration for the FS19 A Palette Auto Loader version 1.8.4.1 has been disabled. Various adjustments to the FS22 A Palette Auto Loader 1.8.6. Rush to translation added and reconfigured the prices to match the original and allow for at least one free configuration. And your last mod update today is insane. It's version 1.1.0.2 of the 30 foot flatbed auto loading trailer. Goodness gracious, pack. Uh, they say no color configurations options have been changed. So if your trailer's colors may not be what they were and they may need to be repainted with the correct color. So they have added support for the selectable bell capacity mods. One, two, three, four, and four. Well, that's it. Well, but liftable bells fixed the issue with a gooseneck coupler and flat hedge not adjusting due to configuration key bindings. And now there's a separate section in the in-game key bindings page. They say look for the 30-foot flatbed auto-loading trailer pack to set the keys to anything that is convenient to the player. They've also added solid fertilizer and lime spreader as an additional configuration. Fertilizer and lime spreader is variable spraying widths from 12 meters up to 42 meters. Added unrealistic field capacity for the tipper tank and fertilizer and lime spreader for those players that don't want realistic does cost you extra money though increased capacity of the cotton round bell trailer to seven bells replace the strobe lights with custom model ones created by mac trucker 921 himself and added additional strobe lights on the flatbed frame and spreader so added livestock trailer config livestock trailer body and decals are color selectable livestock trailer decals can be configured to have all none or anything in between livestock trailer capacities 12 cows 12 horses 48 pigs 48 sheep and 320 chickens the livestock trailer has a movable dividing door middle mouse button or keyboard keys k for uh, kentucky fried chicken and ilm for there's no ilm in kfc second tier of pigs there's a lot more going on here uh just check it out. There's there's an update and you want it. And it's still bouncing. So we should probably take this time to tell you that this is the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Drop a like and subscribe. Join the GoHead fam. Do that thing with the notifications that YouTubers tell you to do. Because that way you don't, well, you don't miss a truck being whatever this is. David, I'm not sorry. This is great. I hope you guys have an awesome day. We'll see you later. Peace.